Hey, we're all about customer support and customer service, so I got a new product that we're going to do a video on today called Help Shelf, which if you're using a lot of the tools we talk about in these videos, this will help you integrate them all into a very attractive website widget. So stay tuned for this one. Hey everybody, this is David Ferguson with Tech Smart Balls here with another video. Today I'm going to talk about this product called HelpShelf.co. Makes me want to say Elf on the Shelf, it's holiday season, but nope, this is the Help Shelf. And it has a pretty unique proposition. What it's allowing you to do is combine all these little website widgets and tools we have related to customer service. So all your different help desk tools, you'll see Support Hero, which we've done a video on. You've seen Drift, which also has a help desk component, a knowledge base component, as well as live chat. It allows you to bring it into a really nice interface. Let's look at theirs. I'm going to click this icon. You'll see that now, instead of immediately going into a live chat, you can kind of get customers to find their own help through all the resources you've uh, provided them by searching. You can put popular resources based on the page that they're on. So, you know, things that they're probably going to ask. And then you've got a couple call to actions here. And watch this. I'm going to click on the contact, which actually looks like an email here. But when I do that, it actually pops up their intercom system. It was kind of hiding in the background right behind their icons. That's, that's pretty slick. It kind of gives you the best of all worlds. So what I'm going to do is set up a free trial. You know, I like to do those here. And as I do it for the first time, I'm going to record it, let you see it. So let's go ahead and, and get started with that. So you notice here that pretty reasonable pricing. I won't go too much into that. Let's go ahead and start a 30-day free trial on their startup plan. Because you'll notice it's really, you get some analytics. You get their branding off as you move up. But then there's just limit quantities based on uh, the things that you're going to track. So I'm going to go ahead and start a 30-day free trial over here. So let's put in our info. Techsmart boss. And uh, set a password. And it's got a couple other onboarding. Now, you know, we talk a lot about segmentation. These are segmentation questions. So I'm sure they can leverage this kind of stuff to better market us with relevant information as we go. I'm going to go ahead and answer that. So that's a nice form. I have no problem at all with that. Um, yeah, they can know. They can they can contact me about future stuff. And I'm going to agree. Normally, I'll be reading these, but let's go ahead and hit continue and go through their onboarding and see how far we get. All right. I'm, I'm right into their dashboard here. First thing I see is I can have this on multiple sites, and you'll see a nice switch site feature there so this can work on multiple sites that you have let's take a look and see what it says for setup how many how do you want people to contact you so this is going to be uh, most likely that contact button let's add a provider on that and there it is those are all the things that they integrate with out of the box and you can tell them about other methods if you want so let's take a look I have drift on my website so let's do that drift integration and now it says configure the provider, get the app ID. It says logging in, the, it's the app ID. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'll, I've already logged into my Drift because I wanted to do that as part of this video. So I'm going to go in here and grab my app ID. I'm going to blur this out for the video, but that should be this little piece right there in my uh, URL. I'm just going to double check that and make sure. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. All right, let's go back over here and copy that in there. And again, I'll blur that. All right, so that's set up. So that's got a check mark. Where does your product content live? So this is going to be where we want to integrate with. So let's add a content source for that. Now you'll see different options here. And they got video options. They got Help Scout, which we've done a video on. I've already got my support hero kind of open here. So let's click on that and see what they're going to need. All right. So we got to go to settings and get our API and our subdomain. So my subdomain I can already put in here. And I'm going to go out there and get my API key. So again, um, I'm going to blur this out. But you can see how I navigate to get to that. And I'm going to grab my API key. And there it is at the bottom just like they said. So pretty pretty simple. I like it. It's working. There it is. 
do you have a roadmap? Now, if you remember, we just did a video on a roadmap product. Let me go back out there to that and grab that. All right, now, I, I'm not using it. You know, we don't have anything with TechSmart Boss from a roadmap. But remember, nult.io. Check out that video. So let's go ahead and add, see what we got here. Yeah. Okay. So now out of the box, they're supporting with Canny and Trello. Let's see what happens if I do. Okay. That's going to pop up and suggest we'll come back over there. So they don't have, I thought that might be just a URL you link to, but that's pretty cool because that might actually search um, and bring in that content. So I'm going to say I don't need one on that for now. And then it says some default settings. So title, I'll just call this tech smart boss. Help. I could put a logo in there. I'll, I'll skip that for now. I can change all that text. I'll just save all that as normal. And then we're to the install the widget. Now, normally I would pop this in my Google Tag Manager, but just for the speed of things, I'm going to go ahead and put this right in the header of my website. So now let me let me go to my website. You'll see I don't have it on there right now. I do have the little drift widget down here. So we'll see when I install this what's going to happen. I, I think what it's doing is popping on top of that and then just doing some calls to kind of show it. But we'll see. So I'm going to go and in, into the editor. Now normally I don't I always recommend if you don't feel comfortable going into the editor, don't do it this way. Google Tag Manager is the way to do it. But just for, again, speed. I'm going to go ahead and just pop this code right here above my head statement and update that file. So that will be the fastest way to get it on there. All right. So now I'm just going to go ahead and refresh my website and see if I can immediately see any changes from doing that. So I might have to purge my cache before, because I did it this way. So let me, and it might not be turned on, but just to make sure I'm going to go ahead and purge my cache. Now let me refresh that one more time. Might take a couple refreshes. Okay, guys, I'm back. I tell you what, I don't know what happened on that, but what I end up doing is going into Google Tag Manager. I turned the drift widget off because it. I, I learned that Help Shelf won't automatically hide your 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 chat icon. They want you to remove that code so it doesn't duplicate. Um, while I was in Google Tag Manager, I went ahead and took that code out of my header file and just put it in Tag Manager, and bam, there it is. Um, I also realized I copied in the wrong Drift app ID, so I fixed that while I was on the pause. So now let's test this out. After all that, it does work pretty easily in Google Tag Manager, so I think I just had some conflicts going on there. Let's see. Here it is. You don't have to worry about put. it does show up on all your pages, so you don't have to go into pages and add them one by one. Let's see what happens. Boom. There it is. So there's that contact I talked about. Here's a search. Look at that. Let's close that search. I'm going to hit the contact. Now, this is what I haven't tested yet. Let's see if this pops up my drift widget that I took off of Google Tag Manager. Let's see. Boom. There it is. That is really slick. There it is. That's really cool. Now watch this. I close this. It'll go back to their icon. So now instead of having all these things cluttered, I've got one really nice consistent place. I could put a roadmap button there, but I've got to get them to do a little bit more than Canny and Trello in that area. But I can also ha add all those searchable indexes in here for customers and, and leads to find their own information. So a little bit of a struggle to get this set up, but I really like this contact. Boom. And there's Drift. Really like that. That's really slick. This will help deflect a lot of inquiries and, and let people do self-service and get things that they want. So took me a little bit of while to get this set up, guys. I hope you did see how powerful this potential solution is. It's pretty easy to set up. The power of it is on each of these pages, I can specify what I want to show up, when I want it to show up. And then I've got all the content that's going to be synced up coming into here. And I didn't look under here, but you can see there's the account settings and back to the dashboard. So really, really nice product. Check it out. If you like this type of video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're putting out one per week. And also check out our Facebook page and our website, TechSmartBoss.com, for more free resources like this. And I'll talk to you on the next video.